Welcome back to Asgard, and welcome to episode 15 of our Infotech 2 modded Minecraft Let's Play series. Uh, if you recall last episode, we started getting a bit into Thomcraft, um, or a bit more into Thomcraft, I guess you'd say. Um, we set up this um, uh, alchemical construct, started working through the quests and everything. Um, since then, I've done an absolute ton of work. Uh, if you notice, we are moved into the base. It is a mess, and I apologize for that. Um, but it's very much a temporary setup as far as, you know, where everything's at and whatnot. Um, I did finish out a lot of this section. If you notice, um, uh, I've got oak planted now. Over there, I've got the cypress um, that I'm using. And... Yeah, we got our boilers out here simply because they produce uh, lava inside of them when they're running. And my house is made of nothing but wood and paper, so I imagine it's probably extremely flammable. Um, the only exclusion being the roof, of course. Um, got sugarcane here, and yeah. And then I've just been going over to that village to get uh, food for right now. So, um, let's see. This one just leads to up here. But I'll give you a tour real quick because I've added on. Let me actually uh, step out here so you can kind of see it at a distance. It's not totally done. You know, this is the first half of the building, but uh, it's definitely not completely done. But I did start building out up there. Um, there's going to be a, a matching tower on the other side as well. And then I still have to build the entrance gates and everything um, for that. Uh, for, you know, right over there. I haven't started those yet, but, um, you know, it's taken an absolute ton of work. I've still got to finish out the walls up there. Um, but, yeah, we'll go take a look up there really, really quick. And I went ahead and lit up down there because I was down here working, and, you know, I hadn't lit up the bottoms, and I had skeletons spawning in there and shooting at me and just being a overall nuisance so I ended up lighting it up um, no wait I don't know why I came this way this is the way to get down there um, I'm thinking about seeing about um, um, the player sensors for the doors I haven't looked at them yet they're actually not too bad, okay. Because we'll probably set up the Melissa Store's player sensors, so our doors will just open automatically, you know, um, without having to. They'll open and shut automatically. Um, but if we go up into the tower, right now it's all cobblestone. Um, and I'm also going to put some steps elsewhere um, to get up here as well. Um, and the tower is going to have steps, but... Um, yeah, if you notice, this section's not finished, and the roof over here is not finished yet. <clears throat> started working through that, and then I was like, well, I've used a lot of materials, so I should probably stop um, for right now. And um, actually, the if you recall, there was an, a pretty decent-sized iron vein over at our original home. That is totally gone. <laughs> I have mined up every bit of that as well as I uh, started working through another iron vein that I came across. But um, I haven't finished the this section. Um, I've still got to add in. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I'm thinking about doing like a white um, and maybe some windows up there. I'm not I'm not totally sold on the idea just yet. So I'm kind of working through it. And then i got to figure out a color for up here. I thought about doing like a gold um, or red. I'm not entirely sure on that either. So, but we can actually run around on the rooftops and everything and, and drop between them. Um, but anyway, let's... Oh, I probably shouldn't have come up here. I forgot this roof is finished now, so I can't... Oh, man. I can't exactly... Ugh, there we go. Okay. Um, let's see. But yeah, there's going to be a big entryway there. And then... Um, the roof section is going to connect over, you know, above the entryway, like the second floor is. Um, 
And then the entryway is actually just going to be open. I don't think I'm going to use any doors. Um, because I know the big doors from Lisa's doors don't have a crafting recipe. So, and I don't think they'd really fit the theme. I think it would look better with just a big open gateway. And, um, yeah. I still need to fill this in. This was my, kind of like where I could tell where the, the middle ran through of this. But, um, and then this area is totally unfinished. Um, I haven't even changed over. I ended up connecting, you know, the rooms together. And I haven't changed that over over here yet. So, and of course all that up there is just cobblestone right now. <coughs> That's why I wanted that cobble gen. Now, granted, we could have went with the transfer nodes from extra utilities. They would have been faster than the Thalmcraft one. I just thought it would be fun to do something a little bit different. Everybody always uses the transfer nodes and... Um, for just building purposes it's not like I need a ton of cobblestone so but pretty much everything is set up in these two rooms through there I did set up double doors here I'm leaving them open I just think it looks good um, with the you know the double set of doors here but uh, I'm not gonna put player sensors on this one so I, I don't know I might it's kinda cool uh, to have both of them opening. But anyway, let's uh, go ahead and jump into what we're going to be doing today. Um, oh, I haven't moved over our animals or our bees. I did bring, let's see, I did bring one of the sheeps, one of the sheep back. And one of these chests, I don't know. Just a big, big old mess here. Well, I thought I brought one of them back. Okay, maybe I didn't. I don't know. Because we had a golden lasso and I brought one of them back, I thought. But maybe it's still back over there, I don't know. Um, but anyway, like I said, the first thing, I've done a little bit of research, not a ton. I need more of certain elements, especially like Ordo. Um, it's kind of a pain when you start running out of Ordo. I have one right now, so. Um, but I've done little bit of research I've done a lot of mining by the way um, a bit of processing I have some ores processing over there I should probably pull them out um, I did find Stibnite and funny story it's actually right over there if you go down the bottom of the mountain um, and go across there is a desert there and there's some Stibnite right over there and I also got a barrel of uh, oil um, I got about half of what was over there. Um, right there is an oil vein. So, I haven't actually... Oh, there's... Okay, I didn't go over there. Um, Journey Map much, must have picked that up, and I didn't notice it. Because, see, we've got a village here, but apparently we've got another one right there, and we've got something... That might be a tree, actually. Yeah, that's a tree. Okay, but we have another village over there I haven't explored yet. Um, also, let's see, I got Stibnite. Oh, I found tin, silver, and lead. So, actually, let's go ahead and grab some of that tin. Still got a bit of iron to process through. Processing, it just takes a while because I've been macerating it and then I'll, um, you know, turn it into these nuggets. Like, just cook it like that. So, I have to pull it out every so often and, um, And let it, uh, you know, fill back up and everything. So, I'm just going to throw them in there right now. I'll change them over later. Um, so, we need tin. We need lead. Now, granted, I could get iron. I could maximize it if I did the Thalmcraft method. I just don't have the setup right now to make it quick enough to process through all this mess so um what lead and silver silver okay there's silver all right and now we can just use oh I don't have a pick I broke my last pick I may have to make one in a second I don't know hey where'd you come from did you climb up that ladder 
go down there. <laughs> Alright. Um, and Metallum. Okay. So let's go ahead. We'll finish. We're not going to spend the whole episode on Thomcraft. I just want to go ahead and knock out the quest that we do have for it. And... Right? Right, right. No? I can't remember. Oh, you know what? I bet I didn't get the research. Let me grab that really quick. Oh, we're going to need Ordo. We're going to need Ordo for both of these. Great. Um, cool. Let me scan a couple things. Because <clears throat> I know there should be some stuff I haven't. Yeah. There we go. That's probably enough Ordo, actually. Um, so we'll get silver purification, lead purification, and then we need tin. Let's see. Where's tin at? Or did I already get tin? I already got tin. Okay. So, let me throw that back in there. Yes, we want that. Lead. Are we out of... No, we're not out of anything. There's ten. Yeah, work. Do work. Oh, okay, I had, that's what it was, I had something else selected there. So that'll get us our three clusters for that. Um, let's see, magic. The commons, nickel, zinc, cassitite, and cobalt. I know I don't have cobalt, I know that for a fact. Um, let's see. Nickel, zinc, cassitite, and cobalt. Do we have any of that? I don't think so. No, I don't have any of that stuff. So, um, I guess we'll put that quest on hold for now. Um, and then ice, I did go out and find some snow. So let's grab some of that. And you know what? I don't think I actually scanned snowballs. I scanned snow, but I didn't scan snowballs. Okay. So to get our alchemical processing <coughs> uh, manufacturer, yeah. We're going to need to make snow, which is jellum. We're going to need jellum and ordo with snow. And snow is, let's see, how can we make snow? I imagine it's just four snowballs. Okay, yeah. Alright, I just wanted to make sure. And, wait, what was it? Jellum and Ordo, right? <clears throat> yes, okay. So let's grab this Metallum. And let's grab another Warded Jar. And... Just fill that up. Actually, let's just throw it all in there. Whatever. Alright, so that's going to get us our jellum. And... Let's see, is it done processing through all of that? No? Whoops. Okay. That should be good. We'll hook that on and throw our snow in there. Get our ice. And there we go. And that should allow us to finish out that. Now we need destruction. Closely road but not quite modification. This process will require taking what is there and removing parts to what remains is what you want. They want us to get some cracked stone bricks. Um, we can just throw stone bricks in there with two per dito. So, and then they also want us to get bone meal. We've already got bone meal. So, um... But for the record, it's just a bone with Perdito. So let's see. Do we have any Perdito? No. Okay. Let me um. Let me grab some stone. And we just need 
one of these. Um, let's see, what would be the best <clears throat> source of Perdito? Does, I can't remember if Cobblestone have it. Yeah, cobblestone has it. So we're just going to cook up some cobblestone. <clears throat> um, yeah, a stack sounds wonderful. And that way we can get some Terra as well, because that's another thing that we'll end up using, you know. <clears throat> okay, so we've got Perdito and Terra. So let's go ahead and throw that on there and we want to make that and that's got us those and now we can claim our reward so let's go with the thaumaturges back again and we got a oh a mundane ring I can actually use that um, here pretty soon and that finishes out that quest for us. So, let me throw that in there. Okay, now next up, <clears throat> I think that's, yeah, that's, oh, balance of power. I want us to make balance shards. Um, take a shard and combine it with two of the five other primal aspects. Common sources of essentia include cobblestone, netherrack, sugarcane, and chiseled stone bricks. So we're just going to need any kind of shard and then a couple of the, um, you know, primals. Um, I'm going to wait on that because I know that's processing, well, actually, it's processing fairly quickly. Yeah. We'll, um, yeah, we'll give that some time. Like I said, I don't want to spend the whole episode on Thaumcraft, um, just yet, so. Um, but let's go ahead and get into tech. Um, that's what I was, you know, really wanting to jump into this episode. Um, because we've, we've been away from it for a little while. We've been doing a lot of, um, um, Thaumcraft and whatnot. Now, it was brought to my attention that... I still don't have that. Uh, that there was another quest added here after the new Helllands with the Nether Quartz and stuff, um, and it's another source of water. And I got to looking, you know, after after uh, the pack dev let me know that I'd missed that one. That this quest is going to be amazing for us. <laughs> so, because when I moved here, I noticed uh, I forgot to mention I noticed that um, this area it doesn't rain. So the rain tanks that we had made previously, um, I'd made five of them, I think, were totally useless to us. However, I did set up right down here. <clears throat> if you notice, there's rain tanks set up with a drum. And that's how I've been getting my water is I just let them fill up and then, you know, take the drum over here when, um, you know, when they're full or, you know, when I need water or whatever. So right now, let me replace that. Uh, right now, um, you know, I'm pretty well set on water. However, you know, it's kind of a pain to have to do that manually. So what that quest, what this quest is, is they want us to first get 21 glass dust. But what we're going to be making is the um, reservoir from um, Ender IO, which is a really, really nice block. Um, this out of here. I believe you just macerate it, right? Um, yeah, just macerate glass to get the dust. So, we're going to need 21 pieces of that. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. And... Come on. <laughs> come on. I hate these machines. They're so slow. Okay. And that gets us that. And while that's macerating, because it is going to take it a minute, um, let's go ahead and um, okay. look now into more of the Age of Steel stuff. Um, like I said, I did get the Stib Knight for 
that part of the quest. However, next up we need antimony ingots. And we can just smelt Stibnite to get that. Um, let's see. I wonder... Hmm. The Macerator's running right now. Let's see if we can... Um, oh, we can't just grind that up. Crap. Okay, well let's just cook it. Because um, we just need two of the ingots. I don't think two is going to kill us. <clears throat> um, you know, to use up two of them. And let me throw that back in there, and that in there, and this in here. Um, so I don't know how long that's going to take. Okay, that's about done. The mass Raider is just really, really slow. <clears throat> okay, so that gets us those, and then they want us to do battery material. Combine lead and antimony in your alloy smelter, you'll produce battery alloy. A critical alloy in most battery holes. So they want us to get 10 of that. So... Yeah, let's hold off until the macerator's done. We'll start up some stibnite, we'll start up some lead, and uh, get that going. Um, we also have a quest here for Material Savior. Uh, or, no, Alternative Energies is the one I wanted to look at first. They want us to make a b uh, basic diesel generator and a basic gas turbine. Um, that's a lot of the reason I went and got that oil. Because, you know, I had to get it with a bucket. And it was kind of a pain. Um, I actually wanted to look at something, but it slipped my mind just now. So... Um, but I did go ahead and start prepping a lot of machine uh, materials and stuff. Um, let's see. Basic diesel. So we're going to need a couple electric motors, electric pistons, steel gears, 10 cables, electronic circuit, and machine hull, which I should have all of that prepped. Um, I did just make a new hammer, yeah steel one. Um, let's see, a couple of those, a couple of those, a couple of those, and okay, I was about to say, I know I've got 10 cables. I actually need to, when I move my stuff over here, now I couldn't figure out um, how to break these 10 cables. When I was over at the base, I only had like one set up, so it wasn't too big of an issue, but it said to use the wrench. Well, I tried using the wrench, and it wouldn't break. And I know we ran into that issue before with the pipes, the wooden pipes. But, um, you know, the saw and stuff didn't work either, so I don't, I couldn't figure it out um, with those. So, But anyway, this will get us the basic... Oh, we can't... Can we not shift-click it? Or did I miss something? Oh, electric motors. I do have some of those, right? Yes, okay. I thought I just made like a bunch of machine parts. Um, everything that we could possibly use. Because I know we spend a lot of the episode making machine parts a lot of times. And I feel like it would help speed it up if I just like craft a bunch of that before an episode. <clears throat> but okay, this will get us the basic diesel generator. Um, I'm assuming that... We should just set it up. I don't actually want you to connect. Thank you, though. Um, yeah, we'll set it up right there. Let me grab my wrench and kind of move it around a little bit here. Um, not that wrench. This wrench. Will it not... We're not face down. Hmm. Okay, well, it doesn't seem to want to face down. That's not too big of an issue. We can just um, run a pipe or run a wire. But actually, before we do that, I'm wondering, can we make an, uh, like an MFSU or something? Well, probably not a event. Oh, it's disabled. Okay. <laughs> um. Or no, it's not a LESU battery box. 
No. Okay. Or no, sorry, bat box, isn't it? Okay, bat box is disabled. Okay, so all that stuff's disabled. So, um, let's see. Basic gas turbine. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty similar, but it uses flammable gases. And I don't know that I've ever found any of that. So I'm not sure about this one just yet. I mean, I'm assuming that the gases would be underground, but just not anywhere that I've found as of yet. So, we'll need one more of those. We'll need a couple electric motors, a uh, machine haul 10 cable, and three of these rotors. And that's going to get us the basic gas turbine. Now, like I said, this one I don't really know about. Um, I'm just going to set it right there for right now until we can figure out, um, you know, what to what to actually cook in here. I'm assuming it's just something I've, I've missed over or whatnot. Um, but we're going to go with the component bag because I think that's going to help me out a ton. And what did we get? Oh, nice. Eight conveyor modules. I will take that because I hate crafting those. <laughs> um, and let's go ahead. I'm assuming that this diesel generator can just cook the oil that I found. So let's just grab a tin cable and put that on there. I know we don't really have any machines to use it right now. I just want to see if this will work. Shoot, no, 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 no. Okay, um. Okay, no. It doesn't, so. We're gonna have to get diesel, I guess. Um. Diesel generator. Oh, it can use ethanol or fuel. Okay. And then hydrogen or methane. I don't guess I found any. We'll probably have to make. I'm assuming we'll have to make hydrogen. Maybe. I don't know. Um, let's see. You can get fuel. Okay, by putting oil through the refinery. Um, we'll get into that later, I'm sure. Let's see. Okay, yeah, they're going to. Okay, I should have just <laughs> looked in here. Steam even more and biomass and methane. Let's see, biomass uh, crafting eight wheat in a chest pattern or by compressing some food items, apples, carrots, potatoes. So let's go ahead. I've got plenty of wheat because um, wheat grows fairly quickly plus the village always has wheat and I don't feel like going through the process of making bread. Um, now here pretty soon that'll change because we'll be able to just auto craft it once we get this uh, um, reservoir made. Oh, that's still macerating. I swear it's like forever macerating. Alright, let's just grab ourselves some wheat and make some of these plant balls. And that's not... That's not working. Okay. Plant ball. Okay, can we compress wheat? Because if so, that'll be fairly easy, I should say. I should think. Yeah, eight wheat gets us a plant ball. Food extractor. Okay, so I do think. <clears throat> yeah, that doesn't work at all. The the eight in the chest pattern. So, uh, we'll just do a whole stack of wheat, that's fine. Um, and while that's compressing, let's look at methane. Centrifuge is a multi-purpose machine. Process purified to impure dust, which yield one tiny pile of a byproduct in addition to a clean dust. It can also separate complex compounds. Finally, it can process many organic materials, such as food, to produce methane and forestry bee products. That is something that we're going to want. 
So, let's look into making this centrifuge. Uh, no. Basic centrifuge. Which I'm assuming it's just the same as, you know, the standard centrifuge, which the main thing I've ever used that for is um, um, nuclear type stuff. But, let's see. Electric motors, I have those. Ten cables. And, you know what, I should probably just pull this stuff out of here so that we have it on hand. You know, regardless. Alright. So let's see. Basic centrifuge. We just want one of them. Thank you. Okay. And we'll set this up. I feel like I'm running out of space already. <laughs> we'll set it up right there. But hopefully between this episode and next, I'll get stuff moved around so that we actually have this set up, you know, the way that we want it and everything. Alright, so one cell of methane is able to produce 45,000 EU in a gas turbine at 100% efficiency. As a reminder, however, basic gas turbine has an efficiency rating of 90%, so the actual output will be lower. Okay, so that's actually a lot of power, though. Um, um, okay, but how do I make methane? Because the R thing isn't working on that. Let's see, methane, gas. Okay, we can centrifuge up like mushrooms, turkey, apples, spider eyes. What about rotten flesh? Is rotten flesh in here? Because we might... Yeah. Which it says zombie brains. That's part of Sfax. Um, it lists rotten flesh as zombie brains. I don't know. Which kind of bothers me because Thalmcraft adds a, you know, a um, zombie brain you know, of its own, so it's kind of a nuisance. I thought I would have more rotten flesh than that. Of course, that tends to be the thing that I throw down if I'm out of space, and so that's very possibly the what happened there. Alright, so is this gonna, I guess it's just gonna add it into here. Okay. Alright, and we'll let that produce, and I guess we're going to have to dump 5,000 in for the quest once we finish that, so that'll be okay. What about our biomass? How's that doing? Oh, we've got five of them. Okay, and our glass dust is almost done. That takes a while. Um... And then they, the steamy even more. That should be the Greg Tech and the Railcraft um, recipes. Let's take a look. Large bronze boiler. Um, um, steam and short burst. The output hatch will be full. Okay. Then they added the Railcraft one as well. But we'll need abyssal stone for that. So that's a big multi-block. I probably don't have the bronze for that. But let's make this basic polarizer because this will actually help us out a lot. If you recall those um, those polarized bars, um, how we had to you know add redstone and all that. This machine can just do that. So we'll need a couple two times ten wires. Stop it. Alright. And what? Iron rods. We've got the rest of this. So let's make some iron rods and 10 cables. Let's see. Two times. That should be good. And then iron. We'll just need a couple of these. Let's go ahead and get our, is it these? Yeah, wire cutters. I have another pair, I think. Yeah, because I made one because I've been using quite a bit of this, so I made an extra one. I think the other one's damaged a little bit, but 
that's fine we'll just use this and what we just how do we make wires again it always slips my mind oh templates that's right so I'm actually gonna need more tin okay I feel like there's so many recipes in this that like the basic ones tend to slip my mind okay there's that and then we'll just make our two times and then iron oh, wait we're not gonna cut it are we we're gonna file it so We should just need two of these, I think. Okay. And we'll set this up. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, let's set it up right here. That's all I know to do. <laughs> and luckily right now we're not really producing enough that you know certain machines are only going to need so much and all that so we don't have to worry too much about our stuff exploding <clears throat> now this polarizer oh wire mill produce wires, wires more efficiently at the rate of two wires per one ingot this makes it one of the first machines that have to be built in order to save raw materials also removes the need to cre uh, first create metal plates that's really really nice because right now we're making one wire per two ingots then we're going to be making two per one. That's something we definitely, definitely want. Um, but by the way, this basic polarizer, we can just, um, let's say, take a iron rod here. I don't mind making these because we're going to need them. Um, throw it in there and say it's just going to really quickly polarize that and we're going to get a magnetic iron rod. So that is very, very, very nice. We've got... Okay, 1,368. So, let's grab our plant balls. So we've got that quest ready to turn in. Dry-eyed plants. To get biochaff, you need to macerate your plant balls. Other options include macerating leaves or seeds. Huh, I think in the future I will probably just get leaves with, a, uh, with shears. I think that would be better. Oh, why'd I throw my file down? <clears throat> that would be more efficient for us um, you know than uh, making those plant balls every time so let's see <clears throat> the wire meal that's what we want next um, and then we'll jump into that uh, reservoir so so just electric motors machine haul all that good stuff should have it and this this machine is actually one of the first that I'm really excited to be putting out. Um, uh, so we can just let me grab some tin. Wish I'd known about that before I prep for this episode, because <laughs> you know I used a bit of tin and stuff to do that to make the wires and whatnot. So we can just throw our ingot into there. Oh man, that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be really really nice cool um, because wires were one of the worst things to craft you know prior to that so um, I'm really really excited about that and that finishes the quest for us let's go ahead and get another component bag and what did we get oh we got a bunch of electric pistons we got more conveyor modules yeah it looks like those two because I'm pretty sure we'd use some pistons already. I don't know. But I don't mind getting those conveyor modules at all. I am Bender. We've already finished this. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Let's actually take a material bag and see what we get out of that. Because I know it's been a little while since we grabbed a material bag. We got 910. And that was it. 910. Okay. Yeah, definitely sticking with the component bags, I'd say. <laughs> 910's a little bit disappointing on that. 
let's see, useful machines, the lathe. I actually want to get that because um, that's how we're going to make our wand caps for Thumbcraft. Because I was wanting to make a fire one, so we had kind of like a range damage option, but um, we do need the lathe for that. However, I, I want to jump over and get this reservoir set up because this thing is going to be so, so nice. So now we're going to need to make a bottle mold. Um, so, to make that, um, a shape plate and a hammer like that. So we're just going to need four steel plates, file, and a hammer. Okay, I'm ready to get something that will make plates for us at a better rate. Um, well, actually, let me check something here. Um, oh. Why did I not realize? <laughs> I just, it just now dawned on me, we've already made this, so we should be able to make plates, but I think this one is. Okay. Well, that's a lot easier. Well, now you know <laughs> that uh, it, it just now dawned on me, because I made that metal bender, if you recall, to make these springs. Totally didn't dawn on me that I could make the plates with that. Oh man. Okay. Well, that's okay. Live and we learn, I guess. All right. Now we've got the bottle mold, and so we can just let's see. We can just cook glass down with the alloy smelter, right? Yeah, we're gonna need a glass bottle and 17 fused quartz. Insert either four nether quartz or one nether quartz block and a little bit of glass dust for that. So, let's throw this into there, the glass dust, and we get our bottle. So now we can finally make bottles, so that's good. Um, nether quartz, let's see, how many of these? We're just going to need 17 of them, great. So, let me just uh, grab a bit of these. This might take a minute to process all of this. Um, glass dust? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. So we'll start that working through. Um, actually, I need 17 of those for the quest. So I'm going to try to be exact on that. Alright. They just steal useful machines, the lathe. Okay. Basic lathe. I still cannot believe I didn't realize that thing made, would make plates for us. Because we made them, I think, what, a couple episodes back with it. So, I don't know why it slipped my mind. I was so used to making plates, because I've made so many plates with, um... Actually, you know what? We have an industrial diamond. Let's use that instead of our standard diamonds. Um, what am I missing? Pistons, circuits, tin cables. Like that, I think. Our piston. Our machine hull. Are we out of motors? Oh gosh. No! Alright, I gotta make an, another electric motor really, really quick. Um, it's a lot easier now that we have the magnetic iron rod though, so. Um, we got 10 cables. Copper wire is not an issue, especially now. Whoops. Okay. Throw that in there. And then let's get ourselves a couple pieces of iron. I feel like we're starting to get to where 
we're not going to have to use like a billion of everything and all these different tools and stuff. We'll just be able to um, actually produce our machines and stuff a lot cheaper soon. Okay. Why is it not? Oh, man. Okay. I guess we're going to have to put this in the manual way. So... that, ten cables, and our diamond, and our machine hull. Okay, that gets us the lathe. And let's set this down. Oh my gosh. This mountain of machines here. Okay. We'll just set it down right there, and then run a ten cable up. And, but yeah, see, like, like I said, see, it, it says that we need a wrench, but it, like, doesn't do it. So I don't know. Oh, you know what? I didn't try. Wire cutters. Okay. Well, there we go. I feel like a total dip today. <laughs> Alright, so that'll get us the lathe. Um, oh, the extruder. We need this. Extremely fast, flexible, and expensive semi-universal metal shaping machine. See, that's what I'm used to using as the extruder and not the metal bender, so I didn't realize that would make plates. Cable processing recipes from the bending machine, wire mill, and fluid solidifier. Several standard shaped crafting recipes and certain extruder specific variations of them. It's the only way to craft plastic and rubber components without losing materials and are the only two products that can be made with a basic extruder. Uh, for processing and shaping materials stronger than rubber, um, e.g. metals, you need at least an advanced extruder, which is unfortunately not yet available to you. Okay, so this extruder is only going to be for crafting plastic and rubber components. Um, so to get into metal, we're going to have to get it advanced first. So let's take a look at this extruder because actually being able to do our rubber with this would be a lot nicer. Um, we can either do it with four times, okay, bronze fluid pipe. Do I have any of those left? I have a small one, but I don't have this one. Okay, let me get some bronze plates going. Actually, you know what? I know the episode's running pretty long, and I apologize about that. Let's see if we can get the reservoir made, and we'll end it off there. Because I just realized how long it's been going. We've just been making machines, and it's been like heyday for me. So, all right. So the reservoir. I know the recipe's probably changed. seconds. Isn't that... I wonder why it wasn't coming up. Unless I missed it. Um, we're gonna need 8, 16 of that and then the cauldrons. So let me grab this out. So let's make a couple cauldrons really quick. Um, we'll need like 14 iron plates I think. So we'll run them through our bending machine. Okay. And... But, um, I'll show you really, really quick. The Ignis lens is what we're going to need for our wand focus and we'll need this crystal plate which this we're gonna need a cutting saw for that so we still have to get that I guess yeah looks like we're gonna have to get a cutting saw for that steel alright so let's get our cauldrons really quick, and I'll show you how this block works. And this block, like I said, this block is wonderful. So when you craft it, you're going to want two of these. 
um, or two crafts of it, you know, because you'll need uh, four blocks of this. So we'll get our reservoir and... Oh, you know what? I didn't get that last piece of fused quartz, and so now the quest isn't going to complete. Crap. Um... Shoot. I wonder why they have us making 17 of them as opposed to 16. Kind of jumped the gun on that, I guess. Um, so this reservoir, where do we want to set it up? We'll just set it up just right here. So if you notice, it becomes like a multi-block structure. Um, and then what we can do is we can take... Oops. Put water in it. And if you notice, it starts filling up. And it's going to stay... Like, it's basically an infinite water source for us. Yeah, I'll just do that off camera and we'll complete it next episode. Um, I should have some pipes. Let me go grab some. Yes. All right. Um, what we can do is we can set this up, say, bring it around to here. Um... I need my wrench, my other wrench now. Okay. And we'll set this to extract always active. You can also, if you want, you can just right click on this and it's going to extract that way as well. Um, so either way that you want to do it. Um, if you do it like this, it's going to set all the pipes to, you know, extract automatically. But this is going to keep these tanks filled up with water and really, really easy, too, because, um, you know, the Railcraft version is really, really slow as far as producing. And then the rain tanks, of course, where we're at right now, it doesn't rain. So that was kind of an issue, um, you know, for ease of, ease of water kind of a thing. But... Um, but yeah, between this episode and next, I will I'll get the stuff together to finish out this quest next episode. It's not really a big deal. Um, you know, we'll get this stuff later on. And we'll also start getting more into steel. Hopefully I'll get this reorganized between this episode and next and um, get everything moved so that it's a little bit, you know, not as much jumping over junk and everything. So, well, we got our bio chaff too. Oh, they want us to make a canning machine. Okay. But we'll cover that next episode. We'll cover some of the new power sources. I mean, right now, Steam's been, been doing fine for us. I do need to set this back to um, inserting. I kind of have to toggle this off because it makes Steam faster than I use it generally. And, um, you know, I just went and filled this lava drum back up in the nether. So... Um, I don't really want to just waste lava right now because I don't have any any automated way to get lava so it's kind of a pain to uh, go get it with a bucket um, but yeah so we'll end the episode there if you enjoyed it please comment like subscribe share uh, next episode we'll be getting you know even deeper into the machines it's it's really starting to take off now that we're actually getting into electricity and electric machines we're not spending um, a ton of um, metals to make wires and plates and stuff unless you're like me and don't even realize that the vending machine will make the plates you know <laughs> just keep hammering them out um but uh yeah so we'll get more into that next episode and maybe before long we'll get back into thomcraft i'm kind of holding out because um we haven't unlocked i bet you actually once we do this quest we'll probably get arcane infusion is what i'm hoping um, because right now I can't research it, and maybe balance shards, I don't know. But I'll keep doing some research, we'll try to get Arcane Infusion unlocked, and um, once we get that, we'll probably, you know, depending on where we're at, we'll take another look into Thalmcraft and start getting back into that a little bit. <clears throat> start getting into the really interesting stuff of Thalmcraft, so. Um, but yeah, so I, I'll uh, end it there, and if... Uh, 
I hope you join me for <laughs> sorry, I had a mind blank. Um, I hope you enjoy join me for next episode, and until then, take care, and I will see you then.